Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Wildcats. I'm Adriana Rivera. And I'm Riley Price. Today is Friday, the second day of February, and it is a B day. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 53 and a low of 37 with a slight breeze. Adriana, do you know if the groundhog saw its shadow? I'm not sure. Unpopular opinion, but I like winter and I'd love a snow day. Today, the cafeteria is offering mini corn dogs or fish fillet on a whole wheat bun. And on Monday, we kick off the Super Bowl special with the choice of meaty chili bowl with tortilla chips or a spicy or regular chicken fillet on a whole wheat bun. The EVMS Health Sciences Academy is looking for 20 to 25 Chesapeake Rising sophomores to be a part of their program. Information was sent out in your Canvas class portal yesterday if you are interested in learning more. This is a great opportunity for students who are looking to be a part of the health field when they get older. Scholarship alert. If you're a senior seeking scholarship money, the Cavalier Auto Group is guaranteeing a scholarship to a Wildcat. If you are interested, you will need to complete an application, write an essay, and submit an official transcript and an activity resume. The due date is April 19th. See your class portal in Canvas for more info or visit Scholarship View. Did you hear that our theater company won first place last weekend at the VHSL competition? Yes! Congratulations! If you missed their performance, you can catch their next one on Wednesday, February 7th at 6.30. The cost is pay what you want, however, the suggested payment is $5 to $10. Come check out this award-winning performance before they head to regionals. The Her Shelter is an organization that serves women and children of abuse and emergencies and they need our help. Friends of Rachel is donating to the Her Shelter during this month of love. Drop off new or like new clothing for women and children, Valentine candy, deodorant, toothbrushes, socks, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, and any other personal hygiene products in the boxes outside 408 in the counseling office, outside the library, or the ones located in the commons. Next week is the last week to get your senior tribute. There are only a few spots left and there will not be an extension. Visit jossenyearbooks.com to get more info. Remember, best friends can do a tribute together. Wildcats, if you are interested in participating in Tidewater Diversity Dialogue Day in March, see your class portal. There are only 12 spots left. This is a great opportunity. Again, you can find all the information in your class portal on Canvas. There will be an interest meeting today during all lunches for students interested in participating in SCA next year. Make sure you come by to see what they have. Teachers of freshmen, sophomores, and juniors at this time, please pass out the forms for your required scheduling video. Students, make sure to grab a pencil so you can mark your sheet while you watch. Seniors, you will be called down momentarily for the senior assembly. Well, that's all for today's announcements. I'm Adriana Rivera. And I'm Riley Price. Wake up, Wildcats. And make it a great day. Hello, this video will cover the scheduling process for next school year. We'll discuss diploma types, we'll talk about what's required to be promoted to the next grade level, and then we'll take a look at what classes are available to you next year. At Great Bridge, your school counselor is assigned based on your last name. Your counselor will be meeting with you sometime during the month of February to assist with scheduling your classes. We will primarily be meeting with students through English, History, and PE classes. If you are not in English, History, or PE this semester, your counselor will still be scheduling a time to meet with you. This slide shows the graduation requirements for the Standard Diploma and the Advanced Studies Diploma. The main difference between the diplomas is that the Advanced Studies Diploma requires an additional credit in Math, Science, and History, as well as requires World Language. Students doing the Advanced Studies Diploma will need to take either three credits of one world language or two credits of two world languages. The SOL requirements are also listed on this slide. All students must pass an, pass an SOL in History, Science, and Math, as well as two SOLs in English. All students must receive CPR, first aid, and AED training, which is included in ninth grade PE. Students must also have an online or virtual experience, which is included in the economics and personal finance class. Additionally, students must pass an honors or AP course, earn a passing score on an industry certification test, or complete a work-based learning experience. We want to make sure you are aware of the requirements, but please know that your counselor will help you to make sure that the classes you're choosing will keep you on track for whichever diploma option you're working toward. 
In order to be promoted from one grade to the next, you have to pass a certain number of classes. To go from 9th grade to 10th grade, you must complete five credits and be moving into your second year of high school. To be promoted to the 11th grade, you must have 10 credits and be moving into your third year of high school. And in order to be considered a senior, you must be moving into your fourth year of high school and successfully have completed 16 credits. One question that frequently comes up during scheduling is what's the difference between AP and dual enrollment? Regardless of whether you sign up for a dual enrollment or an AP class, students who take these classes really must have a strong work ethic and understand that these classes are being taught at a college level. They are very rigorous. For dual enrollment, you'll earn a letter grade of A, B, C, D, or E. There are no pluses or minuses awarded. You earn college credit by earning a C or better for the final grade in the class. Dual enrollment classes cost approximately $135 per semester. In order to take a dual enrollment class, you must meet certain GPA requirements. For DE College Comp and DE US History, you must have a minimum 3.0 GPA. For DE Teachers for Tomorrow, you must have a 3.0 GPA. Students are still able to take a non-DE Teachers for Tomorrow class that requires a 2.7 GPA. For DE electives offered through the Chesapeake Career Center, you must have a 2.0 GPA. For advanced placement classes, you earn college credit by taking an AP exam. AP exams are given each May. Each college has a minimum score they require to award college credit, so you'll have to check with the college that you plan to attend to see what score is needed to earn credit. The approximate cost per AP exam is $98. We're going to look at different classes for next year. So as we go through the slides, just think about the eight classes that you want to sign up for next year. If you are a rising senior, you can request an excused fourth block each semester as long as you have reliable transportation. You also will need to be able to meet all your graduation requirements without needing that fourth block. Please remember, we are looking at classes for next year. You should have your pre-scheduling worksheet in front of you as we review each subject so you can circle the course that you think you would like to take. I do want to point out that we create our schedule and hire teachers based on which classes you request. So if not enough students request a course, we may not be able to offer it next school year. It's really important that you are reviewing classes carefully and picking classes that you really want to take so that we're able to offer them next year. Your counselor will meet with you during the month of Febu February to review the courses you select and make sure they are input correctly in student view. The last day to request changes to your course request is March 5th. Since music classes are offered every other day, any student requesting a music class will need to make sure to request an alternate day class to pair with music. 10th graders should sign up for alternate day PE 10, 11th graders should choose alternate day economics and personal finance, and seniors should sign up for alternate day government. For English, if you're a rising 10th grader, your options are English 10 or Honors English 10. 11th graders can choose English 11, Honors English 11, or AP English 11. The AP class is a two credit full year class. For rising seniors, your options are English 12, Honors English 12, AP English 12, which is a two credit full year class, or dual enrollment college composition one and two. College comp is a two credit, two semester class, and you need a minimum 3.0 GPA to sign up. For history, if you're a rising 10th grade student on the standard diploma track, and you are in world history one this year, then you will not need a world history next year. If you are a rising 10th grader working on the advanced studies diploma, then you will need to choose between world history two, honors world history two, AP human geography, which is a one credit, one semester class, or AP European history, which is a full year, two credit class. Rising 11th graders can choose between Virginia US history, honors Virginia US history, dual enrollment U.S. history, which is a 
two semester, two credit class. Again, you need to have a minimum 3.0 GPA to take dual enrollment or AP US history, which is a full year two credit class. Rising seniors can choose between government, honors government or AP government. AP government is a one credit, one semester class. Next, we'll take a look at the options for math. For the advanced studies diploma, you need four math courses, including Algebra 2. So generally, that looks like Algebra 1, Geometry, AFTA, and Algebra 2. Or Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and one additional math beyond Algebra 2, like Trig or Advanced Functions and Modeling. For the standard diploma, you need three math courses. So for most students, that's Algebra 1, Geometry, and either AFTA or Algebra 2. You can also take data science or computer math after taking geometry to meet the standard diploma requirements. There are additional upper level math courses available and they're all listed on your scheduling sheet. We encourage all students to take math all four years of high school. So even once you've met your minimum requirement for your diploma, you should still plan to continue taking math through your senior year. For science, if you're a rising 10th grade student and you're currently taking environmental science, then you should plan to take biology next year. The other options for science are listed on the screen. For chemistry and honors chemistry, the prerequisite is algebra one. For physics, the prerequisite is algebra two. So please make sure you've met any math prereqs before requesting those science classes. Down at the bottom of the slide, we have all the AP courses available for science and it indicates if the course is a two credit full year course or a one credit one semester course. For the standard diploma, you need three science credits, and for advanced studies diploma, you need four science credits. If you're a rising 10th grader, you need to choose PE 10 in your course request. There is not a required PE class for 11th grade and 12th grade, but if you would like to take advanced PE, you can sign up for that as an elective. So for 10th graders, the required class is PE 10, but you can also take Physical Fitness 2 as an elective. 11th graders can sign up for Advanced PE 11 as an elective, and 12th graders can choose Advanced PE 12 as an elective. The world languages we offer at Great Bridge are French, German, Latin, and Spanish. Again, as mentioned earlier, if you're working on the Advanced Studies Diploma, you need three credits of one world language, like Spanish 1, 2, and 3, or two credits of two different languages, like Spanish 1 and 2 and German 1 and 2. For the standard diploma, it's not required to take a world language, but if you're planning to apply to college, we do recommend that you take one. All rising 11th graders should sign up for economics and personal finance. This is a Virginia State required class. If you're a rising 12th grader and you're not scheduled for economics and personal finance this year, then you need to make sure that it's added to your senior course request. Students also have the option of taking AP Economics, which is a two credit full year class to meet the graduation requirement. The remainder of the classes you'll choose are electives. If there are classes you've heard about that you'd like to take, consider signing up to take those next year. You will need to take a pair of sequential electives before you graduate. That's two elective courses that go together. Counselors have a list of all the sequential electives, so if you have a class in mind, your counselor can let you know which other class pairs with your elective that you want to take. If you're trying to decide which electives to take, we recommend looking at the GBH Interactive Course Catalog. This is a Google Doc on our website that lists all of the classes available with links to videos that describe many of the elective classes. The Chesapeake Career Center is a program that's available to 11th and 12th grade students. If you enroll in a program through CCC, you'll spend half the day at Great Bridge and the other half of the day at the Career Center. There is bus transportation available for students who don't drive. CCC has one-year programs and two-year programs. You can go to their website, cpschools.com ccc, to see the different program options and to fill out an application. You must apply by February 16th to be considered in their first round of applicants. If you'd like to take an online class next year, 
you can apply to Chesapeake Virtual Academy at cpschools.com slash CVA. The deadline to apply is March 5th. You can sign up to be either a part-time CVA student or a full-time CVA student. If you apply and you're accepted to the full-time program, you're expected to make a full year commitment. So that means you'll be expected to stay in those virtual classes for the entire school year. All right, so you're gonna meet with your counselor during the month of February to review the classes that you wanna take next year and add them to your course request and student view. Once you've met with your counselor to select classes and make sure that they're in line with the diploma you're working towards, then your course request will be locked. On March 1st, your course request verification will be uploaded to Synergy and your parents will be able to take a look at the classes you've chosen. They'll have an opportunity to request any last minute changes between March 1st and March 5th. Please remember that if we don't have enough students request a certain class, then we may not be able to offer it next year. So please take some time to think about the classes you wanna take and choose carefully. Thanks so much for taking time to view this presentation. If you go to our school counseling website, you'll find additional scheduling information there. Take some time to review the scheduling booklet and look at all the resources available on our website. Once you've completed your pre-scheduling worksheet, please return it to your homeroom teacher. We are asking that you return the, the pre-scheduling worksheet by Monday, February 5th, so that your homeroom teacher can turn all their scheduling sheets into the counseling office. When you meet with your counselor, you'll review what you've chosen on your scheduling worksheet and have an opportunity to make changes before adding them to your course request in Student View. Thank you so much, and we look forward to meeting with you to schedule your classes for next year.